All right, and welcome back. Um, so let's finish this up. Um, so what we need now is to figure out what is the item that we want to uh, highlight, or the let's call it the highlighted interactable. So uh, in order for us to do this, we will add a new variable called highlighted interactable and make this an interactable. Like that, yes. So um, let's also make a function in order to set this uh, what we want to highlight and maybe also sometimes when we need to de-highlight something uh, we can use the same function to call. So let's make a function we call set current interaction like this and it will take an input parameter as an interactable like this okay so um what else do we need uh i think we're pretty much set now um inside we have a lot of tabs open here let's just close some of this up um camera zoom we don't need you we don't need you and that's it all right so uh we were coming from update best interaction and from this we were calling guest get best interaction and we left off here inside this branch uh, where we stopped last time. So um, let's um, actually continue and uh, actually finish this up. So uh, with this new function we just made, um, set current interaction, uh, we will call this if it's true. And we will set, oh, we have this new parameter stuff again. Let's get rid of that and set current interaction. I think you need to compile, that's the reason. Um, Let's try this again. Set current interaction. Yeah, better. So, uh, what we need is to take. We had this. Uh, we have exited our for each loop, and so now we have. A, um, we assume that we have a best interactable uh, candidate here. So we will drag this into this and set this as the one we want to highlight. And if we don't have any, uh, we actually want to use the same function to set it to nothing. And how we implement that, I'm going to show you in a bit. But that's basically what we need in, in here to finish this up. So, and if you remember the function we had out here, uh, where I said we need to handle the false statement, we actually also need to call this same function. So in case we end up uh, getting our update best uh, interaction, we uh, don't have any. And uh, when we left this, uh, this tick, uh, if you remember, this function is getting called every tick. So if we left it uh, the tick last time and had a, a best interaction, but in the meantime moved outside of the um, of the range of anything, and we don't have anything inside our uh, array here, then we also need to clear this one up. So um, in case we don't have any, we will call also <coughs> set current uh, best uh, current interaction like this without anything. So, we are finally ready to set our current best interaction. So, um, implement all this. So, we have this uh, variable that we just created in the beginning and uh, let's start by dragging this in. Because this, is, this one is going to be our candidate that we want to highlight. And um, um, the one we are coming in with, because we can either pr provide nothing or we can provide uh, an item that we want to highlight. So uh, we, we have to start up by checking, is this one valid? This one. Okay. So, uh, in case, let me move this a little bit to the side. Yeah. If this is valid, then we uh, want to check, okay, if... Um, Oh, let's continue actually. We'll make a branch here because we need that in a moment. And um, well, uh, we have to be careful now because um, previously what, uh, something can be set already in highlighted interactable. So in the meantime, uh, when we turn our head, 
we can maybe face something else. So this can already be hot, uh, containing something. But in case uh, these are different, uh, equal, not equal, like this. In case we make this um, this check here, so let's say if they are equal, um, we will get this highlighted uh, interactable and like this. And you can right click it and say convert to a validate get. So we will also make sure that this is actually set to anything. And um, what we will do is to uh, tell the highlighted interactable or our interactable um, that um, it should stop highlighting. Um, so um, we need to make a little extra function on our interactable. So uh, up here in our interactable we will implement a new function. For now we will call this uh, set highlight. And we'll get back to this uh, later on how how to implement this. But uh, the thing is, we wanted to be able to set both um, highlight and don't highlight. So let's call this just um, yeah highlight. It's a good name. And for now, let's just leave this and get back to this in the end, so we can continue working on our um, function set uh, current uh, interaction. So, uh, once we have this, uh, we can drag off the highlighted interactable. I think I compiled, if I don't, didn't, um, I don't have this. I have it, that's good. All right. So, um, and yeah, this is obviously be the target. And um, off from this one, uh, we will set okay. We have we came in with an interactable here, so this one this is the one that we actually want to highlight. So, in any case, we want to set um, set highlighted interactable, and um, we want to come down here also. Um, is this straight? No, all right, and then we want to set highlight. As well on this, and we want just to, to highlight it this time. So set highlight to true for this one true. There we go. Almost done. So uh, let's see what are we missing. Um, we are missing a lot of uh, false branches here. So uh, let's take this one. If we don't have anything. Highlighted. We don't have a highlighted interactable. Then make sure to create uh, to um, if this highlighted interactable contains something, we need to de-highlight that one. So uh, off from this, we will drag um, get. We need to make sure that we actually have something in this. Um, oops, we can actually do something like this: get and right click and say convert to val uh, validate get. So if uh, we have something in it. We want to de-highlight this, not this one, sorry. Uh, set highlight to false, like this. And um, yeah, maybe we need, we need also to set this one, because if it is valid, then we need to clear it, because then it's not highlighted anymore. So we need to actually set this to nothing again uh, in here. So that's the first. Uh, false condition we have here we have handled now so moving on to the next one so this one is saying okay so if this is not the same uh, well then, then we just need to continue and set um, set the, the, the new desired highlighted and we'll connect this one make a nice little branch uh, reroute node and let's see uh, if this one is not valid we don't have one then we can continue without uh, clearing the highlight for this one and just set it for the the current one. So let's actually make a new one and drag this one down here. So this makes it pretty to look at. So I think actually we are done with this. And we can continue with the last bit, is that is to set the highlight. And f um, in order to do this, we need to uh, fetch something from a, an external website. 
and I think I have it somewhere. I used, uh, if you remember from the first video, I had this PP underline M material, which has uh, a lot of complicated stuff in here. I don't under cannot say I understand anything going on. I worked with the Unreal Engine for um, three weeks now, maybe a little close to four weeks. So I have no idea how this works. Um, so uh, anyway, I got this um, material from this page. I searched for PP underline M and you get this tutorial from this guy called Michael or Lischik something. And he has this uh, cool uh, explanation on how to create these outline materials, uh, which we are looking for. And in the bottom, you can actually just click download to download the material if you don't want to try to understand what is going on. And in, in, in his example, he's highlighting them in blue, but I've changed it in, in my example uh, over here to be in a different color. So this is the, the, the node you want to change. Uh, the one down here you want to change if you want to change the color you can double click and just change this okay so with that out of the way uh, we have the R material here and in order for this to work um, you need to have a post process volume and I already added this, this is kind of a mistake because I forgot to delete it uh, but anyway, what you do is to you go to volumes and you pick the one called post process volume and you just drag that one in and expand it so it encompasses all this area you can see here. So, so you everything inside this area will be affected by it. So with the uh, post process volume selected, um, you can come down to settings and if you expand the one called blendables, you can see there's an array. And inside this, I have added a, an element, and you can check that p on pp underliner m. And that is actually what you need to do to get this to work, uh, as far as I know. So the last thing we need to do is just make sure that our uh, interactable, the the item that we wanted to interact with, is getting highlighted. And you do that by um, uh, setting uh let's see how is it we do this um we take our static mesh dragon and from this one i think maybe it's the other way around set render custom depth it's called here it is and you can just um connect these two and say highlight uh, so this highlight is saying, do we want to have uh, render custom depth to true or false? And that's coming in from the, the pool here. So if we compile and save, um, compile and save, I don't know, I haven't tested this yet. So, and actually we need to add something that we can highlight because all these, they, they, we can't really use them because they are just, uh, some static meshes that we dragged in, I think, um, they are not interactables, they are just static meshes. So let's first of all delete these and we will create a new uh, static mesh. Let's create it up here, but we need to right click our interactable, create a child blueprint on this. And uh, when we click on this, we can click our static mesh. So this blueprint will have all that functionality we just uh, implemented. And uh, let's pick something like uh, a sphere. Jaw sphere, shape sphere, this one, yes. And I see we need to move this one a little bit up and we need to maybe set the scale to five. Five, whoops, that was a lot. Like this, so it's a bit wider. Okay, so, um, and then we want to place one of these, maybe a few of them, like this, and maybe one more, just to have enough to work with. So uh, this is the first test, and excuse me if it's not working the first time I've had tested this. 
So uh, let's run over to our interactables. And actually, it does seem to work. So, what do you know? Um, I don't know if you can see it actually, but it's it's this one is getting highlighted. And if I turn my head slowly, then the left one gets highlighted, and the right one gets highlighted. And if I'm close enough enough to this one, so it's I don't now I don't have to point exactly at it. I just need to get in close vicinity of it and point in the general direction of it, and then it will um, know that it's, um, it's something we can interact with. So, um, as you can see, this is actually following my um, the direction of my follow cam, and we talked about this in the beginning, because I had to just choose something. But when I'm in first person, or true pers first person view, um, I uh, the, the, the follow cam it's going to be fairly close to where I am, so I could just go with this. This is this is going to work actually. Uh, but if I was very wanted to be very uh, um, precise about this, uh, I would have to make a variable containing the active camera and then use that one instead. But I think this is a, a good start to to have to work with because from this we can uh, implement all kinds of uh, new stuff. Uh, before I uh, leave you, I will make a little change to this because I think uh, we need something like seven, seven, like this. So it's a little bit easy. Oops, it's a bit easier to interact with them. Like this, so you can see I can turn around and turn like this, and they get highlighted. I think that's pretty cool. I hope you agree. Um, you can also we can also uh, improve on this, obviously. Um, but let's hold for now, and um, yeah, let's continue in the next video by starting to add some actual interaction with them because right now we're just highlighting them actually so nothing really is happening <laughs> so thank you for now and bye